The City of Portland is compiling its first comprehensive inventory of the city's trees in 150 years. As City Arborist Jeff Tarling told Brian Knobloch, the city is using the latest technology to make this inventory the most complete one in our history. Jeff, we're here on a great summer day Beautiful in day. Portland, and we're counting trees. What's going on? Well, we're working on a uh, first phase of the GIS tree inventory that we've, uh, we received a grant from Project Canopy from the Maine Forest Service. And um, we started here on the Eastern Prom and working our way across the peninsula. Um, we started our first inventory work uh, back in 2000 after the ice storm, and we recorded somewhere around 7,000 records on mostly the east steering and north steering areas. Uh, we never got a chance to do the in-town areas, so this gives us a chance to uh, start in town and give us an idea what we have for a resource in, of trees in Portland. So this will cover from the Eastern Prom, Lincoln Park, all the way across the peninsula to the Western Prom. And then we'll, we, we'll fill in some of the other neighborhoods that we didn't complete before. And you have two interns working on here, and they're using some uh, new technology. What are they doing? Well, we looked at a, a variety of methods to collect the data, and, and we found that we can use an online version using iPads. Uh, we download the uh, city's aerial photographs, so we get an aerial photograph. While they're collecting the data, they actually have a, a GPS in the, on the iPad, so it tells them where they are. It, it queues up the map. They can look at the tree in front of the, the house. They'll click the, a little dot where the tree is, and then they can write down what type of tree it is, the condition, uh, where it's located, um, and, and species. So we'll, we'll record all the data we need to know about the, each tree and then we'll keep moving right down the street. And uh, by the time we're end, we'll know how many Norway maples we have versus how many lindens versus uh, how many pin oaks. So we'll know that we'll know for the first time ever um, a real accurate resource of what we've taken care of. And why is it important for the city to have this inventory? Well, it's really, it's, it's one of our top um, things that we need because right now we, we respond to various uh, citizen requests for tree maintenance, and as we drive around, we, we also locate what type of tree we have and what kind of work it needs. But this will give us a first kind of snapshot of the, the whole picture and how many trees we're actually taking care of. And instead of doing reactive maintenance, we'll try to do more program maintenance. We'll come into North Street, like we, where we are now, and we'll know how many linden trees we're taking care of. And if we have um, invasive species problems in the future, like the emerald ash borer, we'll know how many ash trees we have and where to, where to go look for that. So. It's going to be a really important tool for us to manage and um, take care of a city's resource of trees. And this information will be available to the public online, is that right? It will be. In fact, the, uh, the map that we've generated so far in the last week, we have probably five or 600 records on there that's on our online, um, on the city's map. Um, it's on the city's website where it shows all our maps and the, it will be on the tree inventory. I was trying to remember the uh, offhand the, uh, the website, but it's on the city's website. Uh, you can click on and see the tree out front. Eventually, once we get fully, um, you know, we've gone through the whole program, you could actually click the tree in front of your house and know what kind of tree it is. And so it's going to be really helpful for us as a tool to manage our, you know, the, the amount of trees we have in the city. This is the first tree survey of the city in many, many years, is that right? Yeah, we had a, a, an early tree inventory computerized uh, in the late 80s. Um, it was on one of those little UTS screens. It was a little green screen like you used to have at the banks. Um, it didn't tell us a lot. It was almost more accurate to get up in my truck and go drive around and look and see what kind of tree it was. But the new technology uh, using uh, you know, spatial information systems, uh, satellite imagery, um, aerial photographs, mixing this all together is really a super way to do this. And uh, there was a tree survey in 1854, and that had 3,300 trees, and you're already up to 7,500. So do we have more trees or more city? We have more city. Um, the early survey counted just the peninsula of Portland, which ended about with Deering Oaks and back Hovis, uh, when the, in 1898 when um, Deering got, got uh, added to the city, it definitely increased the size of, of Portland. So the early inventory was just the peninsula. And you're sort of charged with keeping the trees healthy, but what can the, the public do to keep their own trees healthy? You know, just by being involved in the process, looking, you know, people walk by the tree in front of the house or down the street and they, they do observations of what kind of condition it is. And people can always email us a call about that tree uh, if it needs further work or if they want a tree planted. Um, you know, looking back to 1854, from then to, you know, the 148 years, that people really care for trees in Portland. And I think that's why it's been long called the Forest City. And I think 
having uh, the public involved is really one of the ideal ways to manage our forests. So we're, you know, we're, we're, we're going to make uh, huge inroads by just getting a better handle on what we have for a resource.